Hi everyone, my name is Brooke and I'm a geologist and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to take strike and dip reading and I'm going to show you how to record it in your field notebook as well. I'm not wearing my hat like this because I'm cool, I'm wearing it like this because I've got a low winter sun over there and it's blinding me but this is the best spot to do it. We record strike and dip so we can work out the structure of the, geologic, of the geology in the area and this will help us predict where rocks and resources and interesting things are and it'll help us work out the structure that's been eroded and weighed and missing and the structure that's underground that we can't see. And so to do that you need your compass clino. I'm going to show you how to use a silver type compass clino. Silver and Brunton are the two main types. So the first thing we do is I follow the right hand rule and so that means we do strike which is your thumb and then we do dip and dip is always at 90 degrees to strike so strike is the direction that the ed that the rock is going in so in here the edge of this limestone and mudstone is trending in this direction and so that means the dip is at 90 degrees to that and it's dipping down that way so the first thing we're going to do is measure the strike and you do that by taking a, a normal compass measurement i always use the front as the, the bit with the mirror on it it doesn't matter what which way you do it as long as you're con consistent all the time when you're recording it so i'm going to line my compass up with the trend of the rock this is the strike the direction it's going in and then i'm going to rotate the ring rotating ring of my compass so the painted red north arrow lines up with the magnetic north arrow so we're matching this arrow with this arrow and we're aligning it up with the rock the direction of the rock and then we read the number from there. Make sure it's set for the declination of wherever you are in the world. And I'm going to write that number down there. So according to my reading, it's 258 degrees. And you always write your strike as three digits. So two, five, eight. Next, we want to take the dip. And so dips at 90 degrees to that. So what I'll do is I'll rotate my compass again so the west is at the top of the map of the compass and east is at the bottom and that sets up the the protractor that's inside which measures the the dip of beds which allows you to measure the angles of things it's like a protractor with a swinging arm so if we look inside you can see there's those numbers on the inside of our rotating ring and if we hold it like this you can see that there's this little arm inside that swings round, not the magnetic compass, the little swinging arm. And that's our protractor that measures our degrees. So you want it like east-west, like this. And then we put it on the rock at 90 degrees to our strike. And I'm going to read that out. And we read, take our reading from there. And that's eight degrees. We're at 90 degrees to our strike and we're dipping downwards. The beds are pointing down by eight degrees. So beds are normally, these are sedimentary rocks and beds are normally deposited flat on the surface of the earth. So we know that they've been tilted a little bit. And your dip is always two digits. And I'm gonna write that as zero eight degrees. But we wanna know which direction it's dipping in. So we take a third reading at 90 degrees to our strike the same way that we took a strike reading and now we're going to put this back into regular mode and take a reading for the direction of the dip so we know it was dipping this way and then we're just going to do that as we would normally line the two arrows up and then take the reading off here off this bit there and we find that we're dipping in the direction of three 50, 354 degrees north. If you've got a knobbly surface, you can use your book as a flat surface to average it out. And you can take lots of readings around an area and then average them out as well. And what you would do now is if you are mapping this area is you would take lots of strike and dips all over this area. And that would allow you to start building a picture of the geological structure that's around here. So I'm gonna go and do that now, instead of burping. And then afterwards, I'll show you how I put that together and we can use that to build a cross section on our map. So I've written the strike and dip in my notebook. There's our strike, 258. 
there's our dip, eight degrees, and there's the dip direction, 354 north. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed learning about why and how to record strike and dip and why it's useful. Watch the video as many times as it takes for you to get it. It took me quite a while to be able to, to do this properly and, and remember it, so don't worry if it takes you a while. If you've got any questions or comments, stick them below or in the community tab, and I can make videos about whatever other geological techniques you want to know about. So until next time, take care, rock nerds. Bye-bye.